Hey everybody, Dr. Barron here with virtualheadachspecialist.com. There are five main neuromodulation devices on the market. I'm going to do a video on each one individually. I was going to do them all together, but I think it's just too much. Uh, so I'll be doing one on each one separately. You guys have been asking about these devices. I'm not being paid. There's no incentive here. I'm just simply giving you the information uh, to know about these different types of treatment devices that are out there. So first of all, I love the concept of neuromodulation devices because of a number of things. First of all, migraine is an electrical event. For a review, you can see my two pinned videos at the top talking about migraine and migraine aura to better understand what actually happens during a migraine attack. But essentially think of your brain like it's immersed in an electrical storm during a migraine. So I think of neuromodulation devices like a reset button. So as if you are rebooting a malfunctioning device or a computer, uh, that's how I look at these electrical signals to kind of interfere, disrupt with that migraine attack. The other nice thing is that it doesn't involve taking another pill, another medication, which is always a, a benefit of anything. So today I'm going to specifically go over the Savvy Dual device. This is what it looks like. So this is a single pulse transcranial magnetic stimulation or STMS device. It's made by eNeuro. I'll link my neuromodulation overview blog on all the devices in the comments, along with a general transcranial magnetic stimulation blog overview that I did. So you can read more details about all of this there. Uh, but Savvy Dual delivers a single low frequency electromagnetic field that passes painlessly through the bone and the tissue in less than a second to calm that electrical migraine storm in the brain and shut it off. That's the goal of this treatment. It's also felt to stop cortical spreading depression, which is the cause of aura symptoms. And again, see my pinned aura video to see exactly what's happening during, my, during a migraine aura. The most common type by far is visual aura. It comes from the visual cortex in the back part of the brain. And as you'll see, uh, that when I demonstrate this device, Savvy Dual is held in the back, across the back of the head. So it's especially good at targeting that cortical spreading depression of visual aura coming from the visual cortex back there. The safety of single pulse transcranial magnetic stimulation has been well established over decades of clinical use. So I think it's very fitting to start this series of neuromodulation device overviews with the Savvy Dual device because it actually was the first device that was FDA cleared for migraine treatment, initially for migraine with Aura back in 2013. Since that time, it has gone through a few revisions, fine tuning. It's become much more accessible now. Uh, it's had a subsequent number of studies completed, and as of now, it is FDA cleared for both the abortive and the preventive treatment of migraine in uh, patients that have aura or without aura in ages 12 and older. So uh, we can actually use this device in adolescents and younger patients, which is great because there's not a lot of great options for that population too. Uh, it also keeps an automatic headache diary of treatments for you. This is transmitted online. So let's look at this device closer. All right, guys, here's the box. Let's get into it. All right, looks like the instruction manual. Here's the device in this nice carrying case. Device pulls out of there. There's the device. Okay. Here's the case, these clips on here, magnetic clips. And then here is the carrying case for the charger. Okay, get the magnetic clip on there as well. And there's the charger. All right, here are the final contents. Okay, let's go over how to use this device. Three easy steps, takes less than a second to do. Step one, push the power button right here and you can see that it's powering up when it's ready. It beeps like that. Step two, there's two little buttons here. Either one you can push, you hold it behind your head, it's right over that back part of the, burn, the skull, and you push either of those buttons, that delivers a single pulse. That is one treatment. 
Okay, treatment. So if you're using it abortively uh, as an acute treatment to treat your migraine, it is four pulses. So four of those sequences I just did in a row where you push the button four times. And you can repeat that cycle every 10 to 15 minutes as needed, which is nice. There's not a set limit of how many times you can repeat it in an attack. Preventatively, it's four pulses twice daily every day. Both the abortive and preventive treatment strategies have been shown to be quite effective in studies. You can refer to my blog for uh, some of that data uh, on, on the results of those studies. Side effects, most people tolerate neuromodulation devices very well, which is nice, especially for people that are sensitive to meds. Most common side effects, if you're going to get any, uh, can be some mild, brief dizziness, lightheadedness. Uh, some tingling over the back of the head is reported, brief tinnitus, nausea, some muscle spasm has been reported, not common, but things to be aware of. Sometimes a tapping sensation is felt. When I just did it, what I felt is almost like a brief wisp of air hitting the back of my hair. Um, so that's what it felt like to me, a little bit of air hitting the, the back of my head there. Uh, pricing, so $395 per month uh, and it's usually done in three month intervals or even a year interval, interval. $50 one time shipping fee. It's unlimited use, personalized clinical specialist support comes with that, smart technology, the, the automated diary. Um, you know, it may sound like a lot, but when you put that in perspective of what a lot of people are paying for abortive and preventive strategies, uh, especially individually or in combination, for some people that price could make good sense. Um, so uh, that is the pricing currently. Insurances, this is awesome. Veteran administration, the VA system, fully covers this device. So if you're a vet, this is something to really consider if you have migraine, uh, because it's fully covered in their system. Several insurances are starting to cover. Um, most HSA and FSAs will cover it. Uh, and access to this device. Basically, your doctor fills out a form, faxes that form to eNeura. Uh, the link to the form is in my blog and also uh, on the eNeura website. Uh, and in the VA system, it's simply ordered and it's dispensed within the system. Uh, and it's, again, fully covered in the VA system. So uh, keep that in mind. That is a uh, important highlight that's just happened over the past uh, number of months where that is fully covered now. So that is the overview, guys. If you have questions about it, let me know. Like I said, I'm gonna be going over the other four devices sequentially as well, so we'll get to them. All right, take care, bye.